those who are her sponsors, some of those who are her sponsors, the current deaconess and core members, some of those uh, of the core members are going to share this process with me and we're going to just offer up some reflections on the meanings of baptism and how they reflect uh, on Rosemary's life or how her life is uh, reflected in these meanings. So Chris, would you, oh, Sherry's starting us off. Yeah. Um, so I wrote a reflection on cleansing. <clears throat> and it's starting with some lyrics from the song of one of Rosemary's favorite bands, The Almond Mothers. Um, the song's called Blue Sky. I think I'll this. Walk along the river, sweet lullaby. It just keeps on flowing. It don't worry about where it's going, no, no. Don't fly, Mr. Bluebird. I'm just walking down the road. Early morning sunshine, tell me all I need to know. You're my blue sky, you're my sunny day. Lord, you know it makes me high when you turn your love my way. I share these lyrics because music and nature are a huge part of spirituality, especially for Rosemary. This song expresses the meaning of journey and how water plays a part in that. The river is a beautiful symbolism of how something small can turn into something mighty and ever-flowing. This is a process which she has been on and continues to follow. It's very appropriate that she's being cleansed by water tonight, which has been a main source of connection to her spiritual journey, growing up surrounded by mountains, valleys, and rivers. Nature, which includes water, brings her a sense of meaning, joy, and escape from all the dirt. That dirt has special meaning, too. The water cleanses us from the dirt in our lives, both literally and metaphorically. Rosemary is not afraid to get down and dirty, whether that means hiking a new trail, having a hard conversation, or joining a movement. This is why I don't think this is the first time she's been cleansed. She's gotten deep in the dirt in Ferguson and has been a part of cleansing the mindsets and taking action to support that Black Lives Matter. Water there has cleansed eyes from tear gas, been sung about through spirituals, and marched through while it pours from the sky. That rain is symbolic of the cleansing our cities and hearts need from the dirt, which is racism, brutality, and hate. Sometimes instead of rain, we experience sunshine on the streets, which shines a light on the beautiful things happening around us as well. She is a part of bringing that light because we can see her soul shine. She has been a part of the cleansing process of others, whether that means those who are experiencing dirt thrown at them, or those who still have it in their hearts. That cleansing of others has a direct effect on her life also, as the seeds of love, courage, and hope are watered and bring about new life through experiences there. Tonight, her baptism connects her to something much bigger through water. Just like a river leads to bigger bodies of water, her cleansing tonight connects her to communities of love and support, which help her continue to flow with a mighty current. It connects her to Deaconess Ann House, the streets of Ferguson, her family back home, and our faith historically, where love has been at the center. Water has been a part of her journey from the beginning and will continue to lead her where she's supposed to be and connect her with what matters most. So walk along the river, sweet lullaby. It just keeps on flowing. Rosemary? Um, <clears throat> you're about to take vows, um, although you're already part of this community, that will make you a deeper deepen your commitment to this community. Um, they're very serious vows, um, but we're going to be taking them together. <clears throat> they're vows that are going to unite us and make us dependent on each other. So there's a lot of nervous tension in this room, but we're going to be here uh, for each other and to support each other. One of the vows is for you to continue in the teaching of the apostles, in the breaking of bread, and in prayer. And we're going to be doing all those things with you. Um, as you persevere in resisting evil and repent when you fall into sin, we're going to be doing that with you. And as you proclaim <clears throat> by example the good news, seek and serve Christ and all people, and strive for justice and peace, we're definitely going to be doing that with you. <clears throat> we are literally promising to help you keep these vows. We're going to support you with encouragement and listening and partnership. 
We're going to set an example for you, creating opportunities for you to pray and serve and strive for justice. And we're also going to hold you accountable. <laughs> <laughs> but I ask, though, that you do the same thing for us. Because I believe that it is the power of community that we can support each other in doing these things. It's a really powerful thing. And we're going to do it together. So Alex was um, going to talk about death and resurrection. We've talked about the cleansing of baptism, the way it incorporates us into community, and another theme is the way that it symbolizes death and resurrection. And in our gospel re reading, we heard um, the, I'm going to forget exactly how it was phrased, but it was sort of like laying down and standing up. But that's not exactly how, I have to look at it, forgive me. But there was a phrase in there in which um, the text described um, this idea of being, being taken down and rising up. Falling, okay, this child is destined for the falling and the rising of many in Israel and to be a sign that will be opposed so that the inner thoughts of many will be revealed. And when I listened to that, I heard, again, death and resurrection, that, that theme right there in the falling and the rising. And it brought to mind how many times Rosemary has done a dying. <laughs> <laughs> and what a dying is, is that being in solidarity with the one who was slain, with those who have been killed, and rising up afterward so that you can stand for the justice that is so needed on their behalf. And as you enter into your baptism, you are in, again, doing a die-in. You are standing on behalf of those who, the very one who died and rose again in solidarity with us. So the last metaphor that we have to present on is about birth. I want to share um, a personal story, Rosemary. Um, I don't remember being baptized, but I do remember my baptismal party, though. Uh, there, 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 there was a cake, and I remember desperately trying to get my hands on it, but I kept being ganked away by adults. Uh, I, I was uh, two years old when this happened. Mm -hmm. um, so, some people would think that, uh, you know, a baptism like mine doesn't count because, you know, I was just a toddler, and that baptism needs to be this choice. I don't agree with that. I don't agree with that at all, because baptism in our salvation is not some sort of reward or a function for us professing all the right things. It's a gift. It's a total gift. Rosemary, your life is made of gifts. The most important and beautiful day of your life is the day you were born. And what makes your birth 22 plus years ago such a gift is that you didn't ask to be born. No. People believed and loved you from the very beginning. And so did God from before the beginning. So did God. Baptism is a second birth. This is what Jesus said to Nicodemus. He didn't quite get it. Um, <laughs> but it, it's, it's just that. God has loved and watched you from the very beginning. And now we're finally getting around to recognizing that publicly. So whether you are an infant or a grown woman, you come to God. <laughs> with the same unconditional love as a mother to a child. Baptism. Baptism is a gift. But let me tell you, Rosemary, you are the gift. I don't know what heaven looks like or what to expect. However, I know that there is rejoicing, there is gladness, 
disperse that you have entered the fold, our fold, our church of sinners, divisions, contentions, failures, broken goods, and total losers, shepherded by the Lord of unconditional love and the ground of being itself. I join with everybody gathered here in saying, my God, my God, my heavenly mother, thank you for birthing me a holy, beloved sister in those are my hands. May she never forget that death, nor life, neither angels nor demons, neither the present nor the future, neither height nor depth, depth nor anything else in creation will ever be able to separate her from the love of God that is in Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 <laughs> Community, death and resurrection, and birth. And our fifth is a transference of citizenship, a crossing through the water from one land into another. I think of this uh, in the Red Sea or the Reed Sea as the Hebrews move through in their exodus from bondage, and as they move from the wilderness into the promised land. And as you are baptized, it's an opportunity for you to claim subversively that you are not a citizen of American empire, but you are a citizen of the empire of God. I have witnessed you on the streets in protest, arm in arm, ready for whatever it took to stand up against the optics that said, you must be silent. And I think about that empire of God, and what I think about is the people of God, arm in arm, in love, standing up against armies of opposition, but staying together because of that kind of love and the love that we feel together in this room. And ultimately, we know that that is our hope. And so yet another definition of or way of understanding baptism. So now as we go outside to stand with Rosemary and profess our faith and our baptismal vows again with her and to hear her profess her faith, let's remember these amazing meanings and let's shout them out when we say what we want to say, when we respond. Let's shout with the mountaintops here. Amen. So will Rosemary, if you stand in the middle of the circle and your sponsors will stand with you just behind you. How about that? You oh yeah. No, can they stand with me? Yes, please. Okay, okay. yeah. Okay. Can we just stand right here? Okay. Um, yeah, you can go ahead and move here too. And Mike, you go to work. Oh yeah. Yeah, all the sponsors together. Okay, we're on page 301. The candidate for holy baptism will now be presented. Say together, I present Rosemary. I present Rosemary to receive the sacrament of baptism. Rosemary, do you desire to be baptized? Just say I do. Oh, I do! <laughs> there they are. Right. Are you ready? Yeah. <clears throat> Rosemary, do you renounce Satan and all the spiritual forces of wickedness that rebel against God? I renounce them. Do you renounce the evil powers of this world which corrupt and destroy the creatures of God? I renounce them. Do you renounce all sinful desires that draw you from the love of God? I renounce them. Do you turn to Jesus Christ and accept him as your savior? I do. Do you put your whole trust in his grace and love? I do. Do you promise to follow and obey him as your Lord? I do. Will you, who witness these vows, do all in your power to support Rosemary in her life in Christ? We, we will. will! Say it again! We, we will. will! One more time!
We, we will. will. Let us join with Rosemary, who is committing herself to Christ and renew our own baptismal covenant. Do you believe in God the Father? I, I do. God the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God? I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, He rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. Do you believe in God, the Holy Spirit? I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Will you continue in the apostles' teaching and fellowship, in the breaking of bread and in the prayers? I will, with God's help. Will you persevere in resisting evil, and whenever you fall into sin, repent and return to the Lord? I will, will with, with God's, God's help. help. Will you proclaim by word and example the good news of God in Christ? I, I will, will, with God's help. help. Will you seek and serve Christ in all persons, loving your neighbor as yourself? I, I will, will, with God's, God's help. help. Will you strive for justice and peace among all people, and respect the dignity of everyone? every human being. I, I will, will with God's God. help. Let us now pray for Rosemary, who is to receive the sacrament of new birth. Deliver her, O Lord, from the way of sin and death. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Open her heart to your grace and truth. Lord, hear our prayer. Fill her with your holy and life-giving spirit. Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Keep her in the faith and communion of your holy church. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Teach her to love others in the power of the spirit. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. Send her into the world in witness to your love. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Bring her to the fullness of your peace and glory. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Grant, O Lord, that all who are baptized into the death of Jesus Christ, your Son, may live in the power of his resurrection and look for him to come again in glory, who lives and reigns now and forever. Amen. 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 Here, let's say it again. Amen. Amen. And again. Amen. Amen. And now we'll go in for the baptism. <laughs> the Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give our thanks and praise. We thank you, Almighty God, for the gift of water. Over it, the Holy Spirit moved in the beginning of creation. Through it, you led the children of Israel out of their bondage in Egypt and into the land of Israel. In it, your son Jesus received the baptism of John and was anointed by the Holy Spirit as the Messiah, the Christ, to lead us through his death and resurrection from the bondage of sin into everlasting life. We thank you, God, for the water of baptism. In it, we are buried with Christ in his death. By it, we share in his resurrection. Through it, we are reborn by the Holy Spirit. Therefore, in accordance, in joyful obedience to your Son, we bring into this fellowship those who come to him in faith, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Now sanctify this water, we pray you, by the power of your Holy Spirit, that those who here are cleansed from sin and born again may continue forever in the risen life of Jesus Christ our Savior. To him, to you, and to the Holy Spirit be all honor and glory now and forever. Amen. Amen. Rosemary, I baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Let us pray. 
Heavenly Father, we thank you that by water and the Holy Spirit you have bestowed upon thee, this your servant, the forgiveness of sin, and have raised her to new life in grace. Sustain her, O Lord, in your Holy Spirit. Give her an inquiring and discerning heart, the courage to will and to persevere, a spirit to know and to love you, and the gift of joy and wonder in all your works. Amen. Amen. I, the charism is in my purse. We can move up by the altar for it. So we will do that at the end. So the Lord bless you. I bless you in the name of the Holy Spirit. So, okay. The Lord, uh, the peace of the Lord be always with you. And, and also with you. <laughs> 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 <laughs>